Our team coverage of Hurricane Harvey. We have another story. We've got reporters spread across the Arklatex. The areas to likely be the hardest hit by Hurricane Harvey is Natchitoches and along the Toledo Bend, and that's where we find our beer rolled on. BS folks there prepare for the heavy rain. What are they doing so far? Well, Sean, when I first got here, I saw crew members hard at work preparing these sandbags. You are looking at thousands of these things. The city of Natchitoches is giving them away to residents all over the parish. The city of Natchitoches Public Works Department says they'll have 10 to 15,000 sandbags and anyone can come pick up as many as they need. The director just up updated me just moments ago. He says so far they've been uh, given away about a thousand bags and about 100 cars have pulled up to pick them up. Uh, he says he's expecting those numbers to double by tomorrow when everybody is off work. He tells me they'll work extended hours from 6 a.m. to 5 p.m. and all hands are on deck. All of their employees will be on call now and throughout this hurricane. Now, I spoke to one lady from Flora picking up some sandbags here today, gearing up to protect her family. Not really worried about the hurricane itself, more the flooding. We've had so much rain and so much flooding in the past year. How are you preparing for Hurricane Harvey? Sandbags, uh, water, canned goods, gas for the generator. And now I spoke to the Council on Aging over in the Toledo Bend area, and they say people there are busy stocking up on food, gas, water, batteries, and other supplies. I also got a hold of the Sabine River Authority of Louisiana's uh, director, Warren Founds. He says the water in the reservoir is still below full pool level and so far have no plans of opening up any of the 11 gates. He says all of their employees are also on standby and there are engineers on both sides, Texas and Louisiana, monitoring the hurricane hourly. And if in case they do have to open the gates, they will notify first responders, the media, as well as residents ahead of time. And now people who live here in the Natchitoches Parish, as well as those living in the Toledo Bend area, right Right now are just kind of hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. Live in Natchitoches, Viral Dunn, KTBS 3 News. Bia, these next few hours are going to really play a big role for what they have to prepare for. Of course, you can get sandbags at 110 Mill Street in Natchitoches. Just pull up. They have someone to help you load as many as you need.